Zarkizer. Hey guys, it's your boy Zarkizer, and today I'm gonna give a quick review on the new 2021 Kawasaki Ninja 650. The Ninja 650 is a popular middleweight sport bike that's very versatile. It's a perfect bike for cruising around town, carving out twisty roads, and you can even use it on the racetrack. This bike looks absolutely amazing. It has an aggressive bodywork with sharp Ninja styling and lots of attitude. The Ninja 650 is extremely fuel efficient and has a top speed of 210 kilometers an hour. For 2021, this bike comes with a price tag of $7,600 and features lots of technology with sporty ergonomics. There's a lot to learn about this bike, but before we get into that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel for more daily motorcycle news and reviews. You can also follow me on Instagram where I post daily motorcycle content and definitely check out my online store where you can buy some cool motorcycle accessories and apparel. So yeah, let's get right back into it. The new 2021 Kawasaki Ninja 650 comes available in four color options, which are pearl nightshade teal, metallic imperial red, metallic spark black, and the lime green KRT edition that features graphics from the Kawasaki racing team. The Ninja 650 looks absolutely amazing. It has a sporty design with full fairings, a muscular fuel tank, comfortable split style seats, and an underbelly exhaust that sounds really awesome. This bike has LED lights all around, including twin LED headlights and fairing integrated turn indicators. The new 2021 Kawasaki Ninja 650 complies with Euro 5 emission standards, which means it's clean and also fuel efficient. This bike is powered by 649cc liquid-cooled two-cylinder four-stroke engine with dual throttle valve technology that puts out 66 horsepower and 64 newton meters of torque. The Ninja 650 comes mated to a six-speed transmission gearbox and also has a slipper clutch. The Ninja 650 weighs 423 pounds and has a compact wheelbase of 55.5 inches. It has a 31.1 inch seat height and a ground clearance of 5.1 inches. This bike has a fuel tank capacity of 4 gallons and a fuel economy of 50 miles per gallon, providing an approximate riding range of 200 miles. The Kawasaki Ninja 650 comes with a 4.3 inch full color TFT display that shows all the information you need, such as a clock, speedometer, tactometer, odometer, gear position indicator, upshift indicator, fuel gauge, dual trip meters, service reminder, oil change reminder, and also an economical riding indicator as well. The Ninja 650 comes equipped with Bluetooth connectivity that allows it to pair with any smartphone through the Kawasaki Rideology app. Once connected, riders are able to view vehicle information and riding data directly on their smartphones and also view missed calls on the instrument panel. This bike sits on 17-inch, 5-spoke alloy wheels equipped with Dunlop Sportmax Road Sport 2 tires. The braking system on this bike is handled by dual-channel ABS. At the front are two 300mm pedal discs gripped by dual-piston calipers, and at the back is a single 200mm pedal disc with a single-piston caliper. The Ninja 650 is built on a strong chassis that includes a steel trellis frame and a double-sided swing arm. The suspension system on this bike is handled by 41mm hydraulic telescopic fork up front that provides 4.9 inches of front suspension travel. At the back is a horizontal shock absorber that's adjustable for preload and provides 5.1 inches of rear suspension travel. So yeah, that's about it for the new 2021 Kawasaki Ninja 650. Be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the bike. Do you like the new style and design? Do you think the Ninja 650 is the best middleweight sport bike? Let me know your thoughts down below. I respond to every comment, so definitely let me know down below in the comment section. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel for more daily motorcycle news and reviews. And also give this video a thumbs up if you like it. You can also follow me on Instagram where I post daily motorcycle content. Alright, that's it for now guys. See you tomorrow. Peace. Zarkizer.